Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We're starting out on the menu screen because I have something a little special today. So let's get rid of this and we can move on. New game, custom scenario, Rogers Point. It says map now has 29 delivery and recovery tasks of varying lengths from regular deliveries to oil rig refinery and multiple loading zones for all types of logs as well as manual loading zones. So pretty much sounds like snow runner. Um, some vehicle upgrades are unlocked by default and there are 17 scattered around the map to be discovered. There is a garage, service station, and fuel station. Payout and XB amounts will probably need to be adjusted as I refine things. Um, the rest of this is just talking about rewards and um, it's a small open-ended map and a lot of people will have mods and DLC of DLC vehicles so I haven't spent a whole lot of time on planning progression system for now so as it says it's a work in progress um, he expects that people will use a lot of mods and DLCs. I've tried to make the map fair and enjoyable with lots of roads, multiple routes, detailed terrain, and some minor mud ruts on most of the roads. So this shouldn't be super difficult. This may need refinement, but seems to work well for improved grip and adds a little realism. Missions and tasks will likely be refined and added to in the future. At some point, I plan to improve the trails, add contests, and different types of missions. This is still a work in progress. Feedback is welcome. All right. Um, EGADS is the mod developer. Um, this has been around for a while. 1223 of 2020, just before Christmas last year. And which makes me kind of wonder... How much of this development he's done over the last um, six, seven months? Um, yeah, it's six twenty-seven today. So he's had a solid six months. Um. I have to admit, I did take a peek. I didn't do a damn thing, but look at the map, and then came back out, deleted progress, which there was none. But by doing this, you guys will get to see everything right from the beginning now the first time I logged on all it had was the six digit ID number and there was only twenty two hundred and fifty dollars in the in the kitty in the cash now this time it says Rogers Point and there's five thousand dollars in the booty. 
or at least there was on this screen before this. So maybe you guys will see the tutorial screen. Maybe you won't. Ah, there it is. That answers the question. This is what I wanted to make sure it got on the video. Hey, thanks for lending a hand with this. We've got a lot of work lined out for you. I suppose it means lined up. I think this guy is German. He was talking about a German pronunciation on the website. Unfortunately, the trucks were supposed to the trucks we were supposed to have ready for you are going to be delayed for a while due to the weather, but I'm sure you'll get by in the meantime. So, as you drive around and start trying to do things, find things like the garage um, you'll stumble upon trucks. Map note, this is still a work in progress. I have left around, uh, there are a few things that I have left around as experiments and may or may not be final. Well, I would hope six months later they're final, but this is about trying to remember when I was looking at the website. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seventh or eighth iteration of this download. So, seven or eight times he's made improvements to the map and the vehicles. But right now, all we have is one looks like at least partially upgraded International Lodestar with the, God, you know, it's been so long since I used one of these. I don't even remember what it's called. Um, it's got the service body, the Lodestar service body. Um, I'm sure you all, all you guys knew that. And you're sitting there yelling at the screen, it's a service body. Anyways, I still don't know if I'm calling it the right name. But we go to the map, and that is it. No watchtowers, no radar trailer, unless we can buy one. Um, yes, it's saying to hit G for global map. It did say that the developer did say that he plans on he has two more maps in the works. But since this is still a work in progress, you know, they, they may not work very well when he first adds them. And hopefully, oh, cross your fingers and toes that making this, adding the maps, I'm not going to say making this a region, but adding those other maps, which essentially makes this a region, hopefully that does not delete all the progress you put into this. But now this is, six months ago that he said he was working, developing two, mat, two other maps for this. Um, this update was just a day ago. 
So the version I'm working on now, the version of this map I'm working on, was just put up for download a day ago, 24 hours ago. So let's get out of the map and head for that building. I'm not going to do this very long because I've already been talking over 10 minutes and I'm working on a project outside and I'm trying to beat the rain. Um, but I needed to come in for a breather. I have a bad heart and I get a lot of back and leg pain. So I get out of breath just talking to you. I get out of breath. Um, and if I couldn't do this sitting down, I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, so, you know, I have to come in to rest. And this is how I chose to spend this little rest period. Ah. <sighs> Soak up some liquids and try out a new custom scenario. Just for you guys. If it was me, I would say good riddance to Meteor, good riddance to Bed's friends, um, get village done as soon as possible and then concentrate all my efforts on the new playthrough of Michigan, Alaska, and Tamir besides completing or Tamir, not Amir. Did I say Amir? Besides completing a mirror. Now it doesn't show that there's watchtowers on this map, but that sure looks like a watchtower over there. Maybe we'll have to go across the bridge after we check this out and see if we can get up that side. I kind of like the not knowing, you know? Something new, fresh. That looks like it might be a place to get over. Two f cargo loading zones or two factories. Will they be crafting zones or just straight up loading? I can't even find out because I don't. I suppose it's not given me any cargo management. Handbrake engaged. Because they haven't discovered anything or done anything. Um, we have a job that we can't do, but we can take a look at the map. Oh boy, look at what we did. I can see here what they give. Small pipe, large pipe, medium pipe. That's a beautiful thing. Now if I can click on this one. Oh, for Pete's sake. Click on this one. Oh boy. I could use this on, uh, oh, what is it? Oh, what was it? Port on Meteor wanted two BA-20 armored cars. <laughs> Anyways, and two more. So we got armored cars, no limit 
unarmored cars, no limit on smaller big cabins, cargo containers. There's another BA-20 armored car. I wonder if one you can drive around and the other is just the way SnowRunner made it. I don't know. I saw a mod a long time ago that would allow you to drive around the BA-20 armored cars, but the model for the mod was generated with all the packing and straps still on it. So you're driving it around, but it looks like it should be packed to a trailer. Oversized cargo and consumables. So this is what I like about um, these types of maps. Is they generally give you a lot of shit. Um, there's a vehicle right there. And there's a watchtower right down here. Let's um let's go up and around and identify that vehicle. It looks like a Scout 800, and then maybe find the watchtower. Please. We're making progress already. We got one job to do. Right now, I didn't open it for you and show you, but right now there is absolutely nothing in contracts. So the only thing we have to do at this point is, looks like there's something in the water is um identify jobs to do tasks and find the garage there's that watchtower I wonder if it's the same one That's a truck. Maybe there's a way up here that I can get down into the ravine. Oh, that's not the way. I'll try and get over here and then here and see it doesn't look that deep but I can't drive off that not in this by the Kenny we'd already be hooked up to that thing but I can I can play vanilla I mean wouldn't be the first time rank 5 First watchtower. Upgrade location discovered. He said there's 17 upgrades. Two. Objective. Short logs delivery, part two. Sequoia delivery, part one. Bringing home the bread, baby. Bring me home some bread. Now she wants a pallet of bricks. What is she doing? Is she making a bread oven? Oh boy. Maybe we could have gone down here from that factory, but I think this will work fine just reverse my course and head down this way Handbrake, 
Oh, before I forget, what did we get? Look at this. Sequoia delivery bringing home the bread, short logs delivery two, brick pallet delivery and oil refinery delivery. I think oil refinery is the only, or refinery delivery is the only one we've driven through. Saddle high. What are the chances that thing in the swamp has a saddle high? It looks like a Voron. And the semi-trailer. Um, way up there where there's a truck. I bet if we discover this location, that truck is set up with a high saddle to move the trailer. So then you got to come all the way back, but, you know, ooh, look at this. Garage, trailer store, three jobs. Oh, that's where we're heading. After I pull that thing out of the swamp, or at least discover it so it's usable, there's a Chevy pickup. wind through here and go around the corner that might have to wait I'm 21 minutes into this but I'd like to see it's just too much of a roundabout way to get over to the garage now that we're over here I would like to see if I can get if I can do anything with that truck or if it's associated with a job that I haven't identified yet. I wonder if I can turn on the light bar. Yeah. Look at that. I shouldn't be too much work to back this down here. Look at that. The tree mod works. Oops. I'm getting confused on forward and backward. But when have I not? Dangerous water level. Uh oh. Well, not right now. Let's see if we can reach anything from here. We got it. Let's hit the handbrake and pull it in a little. Turn on? Sure. If it'll run. Engine is broken. Uh-oh. It's heavier than we are. <laughs> well, let's release the brake. See if we can hit low range and do a little driving out of here. Why do I get right on the end of a stump? Well, there was a stump there, but now it doesn't look like it. Maybe it was just right under the water. But main thing, I'm moving. And I can probably fix the engine on that. If I just get it up here close enough to me for it to take the repair points. So I'm pulling it in now as I struggle to move forward. Yep. 
It looks like the truck just took the tree down. There she is. That's as far as the winch will pull it. Now let's see if I can fix it. It's certainly close enough. Repair. I've got 400 repair points. And this is going to take 380. And six wheels? I don't have any wheels. Well, just the gearbox took 380. I didn't even fix the engine. 20 points. Can I take that back and do it over again? <laughs> God dang it. It's an international pay star, so it's not a what I said it was. I don't even remember what I said it was. Oh, well that did us no good whatsoever. out of fuel. Can I refuel it? I wish I wouldn't have dumped all those points into the gearbox. The only fuel I have is what's in this vehicle. How do you get just a few gallons in it? <laughs> I don't know how you get just a few gallons. Oh, and the gas tank is leaking. So, forget that. I'm not wasting fuel on it. Whoops. No, I want the source, the lodestar. Lodestar to pay star. No, the other way around. God dang it. Paste our load star. There we go. I'm going to need something with. In fact, I think I'm just going to leave it here. Since we know what it is. We know it needs a massive amount of points. Which I don't have. And... I don't even know if we can change to it. Perfect. Let's find out. This thing is not getting it up that hill. No, apparently we can't change to it. So, it must be part of a job we haven't discovered yet. So, I think this is uh, this is 30 minutes. I think this is a nice little introduction 
to the game. And next time, we will go get the garage. See, now this gives you a reason to watch the next one. <laughs> because I'm going to go get the garage. And maybe... I can buy a, say, a Kraz Chabors. I don't have money for a Kenny, but a Kraz Chabors is only $54. Hey, <laughs> All right. Intriguing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.